with my raglan sleeves sewn and checked off, I'm ready to move on. So I just did this step where it said the pins, the sleeves back at the raglan sleeves, right sides together, matching notches and stitching. So I did all those things and there's some little images that went with it. The next thing I'm going to do is sew my side seams. So in order to sew my side seams, I'm going to pin the front to back, right sides together at side seams and sl sleeve seams, matching underarm seams. Then I'm going to stitch from the bottom edge of the shirt to the bottom edge of the sleeve and repeat on the other side. So it's telling me I'm going to sew from the bottom of the shirt to the bottom of the sleeve. So I'll start here, move down. All right, so I need to pin my front to my back and my sleeves to themselves. I don't want to pin it like this because I would have my wrong sides together and then you'd see the seam. So I need to turn it inside out like this. Turn it inside out, lay it down again, and I'll match up my back piece. So this is my back piece right here to my front piece. I'll match it in the corner first. I'll grab some pins. So I'll match it in the corner. I always want to match it in the edges first, and then you can ease everything from there. So I'll do that. So then I'm going to match at the edge of my sleeve. And I'm pinning this sleeve to itself so that it's kind of a tube, just like this sleeve is a tube, right? This one is going to be a tube. And then I'll match at the armpit seam. And if I press correctly, this is my back, so it should be going towards the back of my sleeve, or my sleeve back. And then this is the front, so it should be going towards the front. So these seams should line up with each other like this, but I'm going to offset the seam allowance so it's not as bulky. So I'm going to line the seams up, but offset the seam allowance. And I'll pin those at the seam so that they line up nice. But I'll also pin the seam allowance down so it doesn't try and get away and go the wrong way. So I'll put a few pins in here. Then I'll find the middle of these two pins, like so. And I'll pin the raw edges together, lining them up really nice. And I'll do the same thing here. Always just breaking everything in half. So I pin something and then I break it in half by pinning in the middle again. And that just keeps me from having too much extra fabric on one side because I'm always splitting the difference. So I'll pin here. So I've done the sleeve and now I'll continue down this is where my front meets my back at the side seam. I'll pin the middle seam and then I'll pin in between those and in between those again, just breaking it in half over and over. Then I'll do this section here. Sorry if I went out of frame for a second there. Okay. So now you can see my entire seam right here is pinned. So I have my sleeve all the way to my armpit. And then after my armpit, it goes down to the base, the bottom of my hoodie. Now I'm ready to sew. So I have my side seam ready to go. Before I sew, I'm just going to go right back to my pattern guide sheet, like always, and just double check that I've done everything I need. So it says to pin the front to the back with right sides together. So I'll double check. This is my front to my back, and then my right sides are together. I'm looking at the ugly side, right, the wrong side, and then in here is the right sides. So I've done that so far. Um, I matched the underarm seams, so that's right here. I matched those together, and I offset my seam allowance as well. Now I'm going to stitch from the bottom edge of the shirt to the bottom edge of the sleeve, and then I'll repeat it on the other side. So it's telling me I need to go to the bottom edge of the shirt. So over here is the bottom of my sleeve. That's where I'm going to end. So I'm going to find the other side. Let's just follow all the way down. And here's the bottom of my shirt that I'm going to sew down. So I'll start here. I'm going to line my fabric up with the edge of my presser foot for one quarter inch seam allowance. And then I'll go ahead and sew. Making sure my threads are back behind. Pulling out my first pin so I don't sew over it. I'm going to go ahead and backstitch. So I'll go one, two, three. 
and then backstitch one, two, three, and I'll go ahead and sew down the seam. And I'll have to do a little bit of a turn here to keep my fingers out of the way of my needle. And move those pins as I get to them. And hopefully they held my seam allowance in place. I'm gonna do a little turn there. I'll continue down my sleeve. So you can see my pins are kind of on the bottom as I'm sewing. And that's part of the reason it's important to do perpendicular because if I had pinned them like this and it was underneath, if I pinned them parallel to the edge, it would be really hard to pull that out, right? But because it's perpendicular, I can see, I can see it, first of all, but I, I can just grab it really easy as well, even though it's pinned underneath. And back stitch at the end. Now I'll turn my threads, lift up my presser foot. All right, I've just finished sewing this side seam right here. So I started at the bottom of my hoodie, went down to the underarm seam, and then I came up to the sleeve. So if I look inside, it's gonna look a little bit more like a hoodie. And I can find my underarm seam. So here's my underarm seam, I'll pull that through. And that should line up pretty good. So you can see they're lined up just right. So it's like a little cross. So that's what we're looking for with our underarm seam. So that looks pretty good. If you didn't get that, then you can always just go and unpick it and adjust it a little bit. And you can see that as I was sewing, my seam allowance, did, one side stayed over, the other didn't, that's okay. The goal was to have them like this so that they were offset, but sometimes when it's really short, it just kind of gets, snuck, like it sneaks under. So we'll try and pin better on the other side, but that's okay. And you can see the rest of this is sewn together. So now you're just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So you'll take side over here. You'll pin it at the bottom. You'll pin it at the end of the sleeve and you'll pin it at the underarm offsetting the um, seam allowances. So this one will go towards the front and this one's gonna to go towards the back sleeve.